Standing by for a roll cleanup. over the uh, South Pacific, uh, the Soyuz and the International Space Station beginning a southwest to northeasterly track that uh, shortly will carry uh, the two spacecraft uh, over Chile at an altitude of 252 statute miles, just minutes away from entering an orbital sunset. Range 180. As you can see, uh, the automated computers on the Soyuz currently uh, conducting a roll of the uh, vehicle. Uh, this uh, enables uh, this maneuver enables the, the Soyuz to have its solar arrays uh, oriented in the correct position for docking. Transition to a different just uh, prior to the initiation of station keeping. Copy, Moscow. 180 meters, 180. 07 is the rate. Well, and the Soyuz now has uh, completed its braking, its roll maneuver now complete, and we're in station keeping. Station keeping right in front of the. Uh, this, uh, this is likely uh, to last uh, only a couple of minutes. Everything uh, should be assessed uh, very quickly by the Russian flight controllers uh, before they uh, give the go uh, for the initiation of the automated commanding for final approach. Yeah, we confirm the uh, final approach flag on the monitor. Copy and concur. Uh, get ready for final approach. Copy and work. Switching formats. Moving on to the uh, other display. Moscow and station speaking at the same time. Do I need to manipulate AGC mode? Send the... Send, send the run, uh, final approach command. Vincent, okay, got it. Now you can. And wasting little time, uh, we're on final approach. Station keeping was assessed uh, by the Russian flight controllers here. Everything in great shape, the alignment is perfect. And uh, the crew is now in the, the final steps and the final minutes before uh, docking is completed. The uh, International Space Station will be placed uh, right before docking into what is called a free drift. Uh, that will disable all uh, external thrusters from firing. Uh, that would perturbate uh, the ability of uh, the Soyuz to dock cleanly with the poised docking port and will uh, facilitate the ability of uh, the relative motion of the two vehicles to dampen out against one another uh, so that the uh, docking probe can be retracted. Uh, that, in turn, will initiate the closing of the hooks on both sides of the docking interface to form a hard mate. Do not. Uh, we st we're still six minutes away from Eclipse, so do not activate the lights. Uh, there was a lot of echo. We didn't copy. Repeat. Right now. A bit better. Docking uh, will not be occurring over Russian ground stations. Uh, the docking expected to occur over northern Brazil. And as such, uh, the uh, video 
of uh, the approach of the uh, Soyuz uh, for its uh, docking uh, to the International Space Station is handled by U.S. communications assets. We'll be uh, handing over uh, between uh, tracking and data relay satellite system satellites here shortly for about a one-minute loss of signal. Yeah, just basically, uh, you know, follow your own discretion. If you feel like you need the light activated, go ahead and do it, by all means. Activate the light. Yeah, we're at about 100 meters, so I don't think it'll be uh, all that useful, to be honest with you. Okay. We're going to stand off and not activate the uh, light. We see the docking compartment, stable visual. We can confirm. You see uh, the uh, Poisk modules docking uh, port coming into uh, alignment uh, with the crosshairs on uh, this external camera view that is being uh, monitored not only aboard the Soyuz by Skortsov and his crewmates, but by Mikhail Turin inside the Zvezda service module of the Russian segment of the station. Currently about 75 meters away from docking at a range of 47 meters, the Soyuz will conduct a, breaker, a braking thruster test and uh, the command will be issued to retract the core's automated rendezvous antenna. Maybe you should go ahead and activate the uh, light, and, uh, light and see if it actually improves the visual of the target. Okay, and work. Okay, the light is on. Yeah, it's not really uh, all that helpful. Yes, yeah, stand by. You're going to fly in a little closer and then it'll become... Uh, Ever more useful. Okay. What you say? MCCM. Sasha, can you uh, do some AGC modes switching from input one uh, panel to uh, potentially improve the picture? All right, the antenna is retracted. It's ready. Yeah, we had a quick uh, hello, was there? Speaking at the same time. And uh, as planned, right on schedule, the core's automated rendezvous antenna has retracted. The Soyuz now about 40 meters away from docking. The picture is frozen right now. So keep reporting, please. Can you speak slower, please? Because with all this echo, we're not uh, really able to uh, understand anything you're saying. Sash, we need your reports on the range and the rate because our visual is frozen right now. Copy. 015 is the closing rate. 35 is the rate. The range. Copy that. The range of 32 meters can be confirmed on the size of the docking compartment. Zero niner is the rate. The target is uh, pretty much dead centered. Soyuz uh, and the International Space Station currently flying over Chile, about to cross uh, over northern Argentina. Zero five. Oh, look, you'll, you will be uh, changing the uh, settings on the, on, the, on the monitor. I'll tell you one. Yeah, this is, not, this is good. Yeah, we are confirming that the target is uh, centered. Okay, range and rate, please. Range 27. Rate 01. Copy that. Target is centered. 25 meters range, and that's confirmed based on the size of the docking interface. Zero one is the rate. Copy all. So Everything is nominal. Good views uh, of the uh, Soyuz TMA 12M spacecraft. Its three uh, occupants, uh, Skvortsov, Swanson, and Artemiev, uh, now uh, monitoring their approach rate, which is down to about a tenth of a meter per second just 20 meters away from docking to the Poisk module. Uh, roll misalignment. Copy. 
Так, ну и прошла инструкция, все вы готов закрыть антенну. And we just received a uh, instruction to uh, retract the antenna. Понял. Moscow unintelligible. We copy. Ты ближний сейчас включал на фаре? Нет. Включи. Oleg, did you activate the close range uh, light? Negative. Go ahead and do that. Okay. Done. Copy. Very good. The target is pretty much centered. Okay. Sasha, we need your range and rate reports because the picture is frozen again. Uh, rate, I guess, up, up zero, about 20 meters based on the squares. And the rate is zero one. Copy. All right, and the video is back on. Copy Moscow. Based on the flying over Paraguay now, uh, the Soyuz inside 20 meters to docking. A perfect approach rate of one tenth of a meter per second. Uh, the automated rendezvous uh, systems on the Soyuz uh, precisely aligning uh, the forward docking probe on the vehicle uh, to the Poisk module docking port. Everything uh, in preparation now for contact and capture momentarily. Mission center. Target is centered. Everything's nominal. Copy. Copy and concur. Raid is uh, about zero one. Standing by for contact. Now just a handful of meters away, uh, flight controllers here in Koryov and in Houston standing by for contact and capture of the International Space Station. Standing by for contact. We have contact. Confirming contact. Contact confirmed. Docking confirmed. Moscow copies the. Docking confirmed at 6:53 p.m. Central Time. We have mechanical capture. As the International Space Station and the Soyuz flew 252 miles over southern Brazil. We have indicator mode. We have capture confirmed. Congratulations, Josie. Now move on to page 6-8. Thank you for the good words. Congratulations to you as well. Pressing on with the uh, steps on page 6-8. A flawless approach, a flawless docking for Skvortsov, uh, Swanson, and Artemiev. Uh, two days. Uh, after they had launched from uh, the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, uh, their fast-track approach to the station having been scrubbed uh, because uh, of an orientation attitude glitch uh, in the onboard computers. However, with everything performing flawlessly since then, uh, the uh, trio now uh, has arrived at the International Space Station and will spend uh, the next two and a half hours or so uh, conducting leak checks and systems checks of their Soyuz vehicle before hatches will open so that they can be greeted by the current residents of the station, uh, Expedition 39 Commander Koichi Wakata, NASA Flight Engineer Rick Mastracchio, and uh, Russian cosmonaut Mikhail Turin. Again, docking occurring just a few minutes ahead of schedule at uh, 6.53 p.m. Central Time, 3.53 a.m. here on Friday morning in Moscow. The docking occurring 252 statute miles over southern Brazil. Okay, go ahead.
Okay, why don't you take a look at Okay, we're, we're standing by for uh, data recording whenever you're ready. Okay, copy. We're going to... We're about to deactivate infrared vertical and then uh, shut off L2 supply and then uh, be ready for that. Standing by. Oleg, go ahead and uh, close RPV-1. Well, copy and close. RPV-1 is closed. Now, let's go ahead and uh, take the measurement on DMV. Guys, Sasha, can you hear me? Go ahead. Go ahead, Moscow. With a lot of echo, but we 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 read you, but with a lot of echo. Oh no, we have you with a lot of echo. Sasha, Sasha, do you read me? Hey, firm. Sasha, congratulations to you and your crew on having successfully completed the first part of your mission. And now, uh, you know, there's been a well-kept secret promise that will need to be materialized, and uh, we're not going to be uh, making it too well-known, but you know what you need to do. You bet. Take care. Misha? Misha, this is uh, the head of Roscosmos, and congratulations to you, too. Congratulations to everyone. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah, everybody on station saying congrats. So nice to have you. We're trying not to add to the chatter on the loops. We're trying to minimize, uh, you know, our talk on the loops, but uh, that doesn't mean that it's not so nice to have you arrived and almost there. All right, five eight zero on the. Oh, you did five. Oh, you did five six thirty. Okay. Those are congratulatory words coming from the chief flight director here in Korolyov, uh, Vladimir Soloviev, a, a legendary cosmonaut in his own right, and uh, the head of Roscosmos, the Russian Federal Space Agency, Oleg Ostapenko, uh, all. Russian space officials here at the Russian Mission Control Center in Korolyov uh, monitoring uh, the activities this morning as uh, Alexander Skvortsov, the Soyuz commander, board engineer Oleg Artemyev, and NASA flight engineer Steve Swanson arrived uh, flawlessly at the International Space Station on their backup 34-orbit, uh, 48-hour uh, rendezvous uh, scenario that led to a docking over southern Brazil at 6.53 p.m. Central Time on uh, Thursday evening, 3.53 a.m. Moscow Time here on Friday morning. And uh, we have just received a confirmation from the visiting vehicle officer that uh, the docking probe has retracted and the Soyuz hooks have closed at the uh, Poisk docking port on the space-facing side of the Russian segment. So we uh, now have a hard mate between uh, the two vehicles, hooks now closed, at uh, 6.59 p.m. Central Time. The next step uh, will be the initiation of uh, the leak checks uh, by the Soyuz crew on their spacecraft and by Mikhail Turin on the uh, space station side of the Soyuz Poisk docking interface. These leak checks uh, will take a couple of hours to complete, following by uh, the pressurization of a small passageway uh, that will lead from the Soyuz into the Poisk module. The opening of the hatches uh, will be scheduled at about uh, 9.55 p.m. Central Time, uh, 6.55 a.m. here in Moscow. Uh, as soon as uh, KU is available at that time, that uh, will lead uh, to the three new arrivals at the International Space Station opening the hatch, being greeted by their three counterparts on board the station, uh, Turin, Mastracchio, and Wakata, who is the station commander. Uh, all six uh, then will move into the Zvezda service module to receive congratulatory calls from uh, VIPs and family members who are gathering here at the Russian Mission Control Center uh, and who have watched uh, the proceedings unfold over the course of the last two days, culminating with a flawless docking uh, by the Soyuz spacecraft uh, to the Poisk module a short time ago.
And latch is retracted. Flag just came on display. How copy? Copy latch is retracted. Oleg, why don't you go ahead and take the next measurement? So, if someone gets some skeleton? Probe retracted? The uh, docking probe uh, retracted. We have a hard mate uh, between uh, the Soyuz and uh, the Poisk module docking interface. Again, hooks have been closed, everything uh, proceeding uh, in good shape. The next step uh, will be uh, the crew on board the Soyuz uh, performing leak checks uh, before they uh, begin uh, to uh, get out of their Sokol launch and entry suits, which they donned uh, several hours ago for the terminal phase of this rendezvous. They uh, will begin. Uh, to uh, deactivate some of the systems associated with the rendezvous activity. Uh, the uh, Soyuz will be placed on uh, external space station power for the duration of its stay, which will last until uh, September 11th, when Skvortsov, Artemiev, and Swanson uh, depart the International Space Station for their trip home and a landing in Kazakhstan. Uh, uh, very good, very good. Yes, yes. Very good, very good. What does it? Moscow, how do you read? I got you loud and clear, homie. Five by five. Sasha, please um, issue get four command. And it works. I'm going to check the VS. We don't command BG4. The four command has been issued. Copy. Thank you. And we're standing by for the next pressure measurement at 0311. Next measurement, what? We need the next pressure measurement at 03-1130. Copy 03-1130 for the next pressure measurement.
is Mission Control Koryov, uh, the uh, crew aboard the Soyuz TMA-12M spacecraft working through their post-docking procedures. Uh, once again, uh, to recap, uh, the uh, crew on board uh, this Soyuz vehicle, uh, Soyuz Commander Alexander Skvortsov, uh, NASA Flight Engineer Steve Swanson, and uh, Russian Flight Engineer Oleg Artemyev launched uh, two days ago from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan on what had been expected to be a uh, fast-track Four orbit rendezvous as uh, the four previous Soyuz crews had enjoyed. However, about two hours after launch, uh, the Soyuz, uh, in its uh, maneuver into an orientation for a critical rendezvous burn uh, to place them on that fast track uh, for a swift six hour uh, docking to the International Space Station, uh, they did not quite get into the orientation in time, were about one degree off. And as a result, uh, the onboard computers uh, scrubbed that burn, and uh, the Soyuz automatically defaulted by the laws of orbital mechanics into a backup 34 orbit rendezvous scenario that is carried on every one of these Soyuz flights to the International Space Station. Uh, the uh, Russian uh, State Commission experts uh, are involved in the final analysis of exactly what happened, but they believe it is well understood, and uh, the Soyuz performed flawlessly over the course of the last two days in the backup a rendezvous scenario that uh, led to a docking flawlessly over southern Brazil a few minutes ago at 6.53 p.m. Central Time. and its uh, three occupants uh, safely docked uh, to the Poisk module of the International Space Station. The next couple of hours uh, will be devoted to uh, leak checks uh, between the uh, Soyuz and Poisk docking port interface uh, to ensure that uh, we have a tight seal between the two vehicles. That will lead to the pressurization of the uh, small passageway or vestibule between the Soyuz and Poisk and the eventual opening of the hatches to enable the three new arrivals at the station to greet the three current residents of the complex, Expedition 39 Commander Koichi Wakata, Rick Mastracchio of NASA, and uh, Russian cosmonaut Mikhail Turin. We'll be back for all of that activity a little over two hours from now. We'll uh, resume our coverage at uh, 9.15 p.m. Central Time with uh, hatch opening coverage. The actual opening of the hatch will be timed uh, to our ability to have uh, KU band uh, downlink television communications from the International Space Station. The hatch opening itself expected uh, around 9.55 p.m. Central Time, 10.55 p.m. Eastern Time. So we'll be back with you in a couple of hours. Thanks for tuning in. A safe docking for the Soyuz TMA-12M spacecraft and its three crew members, now arrivals at the International Space Station. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you back here in two hours. This is Mission Control Koryov. Flying over the uh, South Pacific, uh, the Soyuz and the International Space Station beginning a southwest to northeasterly track that uh, shortly will carry uh, the two spacecraft uh, over Chile. 
at an altitude of 252 statute miles, just minutes away from entering an orbital sunset. Range 180. As you can see, uh, the automated computers on the Soyuz currently uh, conducting a roll of the uh, vehicle. Uh, this uh, enables uh, this maneuver enables the, the Soyuz to have its solar arrays uh, oriented in the correct position for docking. Transition to a different just uh, prior to the initiation of station keeping. Copy, Moscow. 180 meters, 180. 07 is the rate. Well, and the Soyuz now has uh, completed its braking, its roll maneuver now complete, and we're in station keeping. Station keeping right in front of the. Uh, this, uh, this is likely uh, to last uh, only a couple of minutes. Everything uh, should be assessed uh, very quickly by the Russian flight controllers uh, before they uh, give the go uh, for the initiation of the automated commanding for final approach. Yeah, we confirm the uh, International Space Station will be placed uh, right before docking into what is called a free drift. Uh, that will disable all uh, external thrusters from firing. Uh, that would perturbate uh, the ability of uh, the Soyuz to dock cleanly with the poised docking port and will uh, facilitate the ability of uh, the relative motion of the two vehicles to dampen out against one another uh, so that the uh, docking probe can be retracted. Uh, that, in turn, will initiate the closing of the hooks on both sides of the docking interface to form a hard mate. Do not. Uh, we, we're still six minutes away from Eclipse, so do not activate the lights. Uh, there was a lot of echo. We didn't copy. Repeat. Right now. A bit better. Docking uh, will not be occurring over Russian ground stations. Uh, the docking expected to occur over northern Brazil. And as such, uh, the uh, video of uh, the approach of the uh, Soyuz uh, for its uh, docking uh, to the International Space Station is handled by U.S. communications assets. We'll be uh, handing over uh, between uh, tracking and data relay satellite system satellites here shortly for about a one-minute loss of signal. Yeah, just basically, uh, you know, follow your own... Discretion. If you feel like you need the light activated, go ahead and do it, by all means. Activate the light. Yeah, we're at about 100 meters, so I don't think it'll be an approach flag on the monitor. Copy and concur. Uh, get ready for final approach. Copy and work. Switching formats. Moving on to the uh, other display. <laughs> Moscow and station speaking at the same time. Do I need to manipulate AGC mode? Send the... Send, send the run, uh, final approach command. It's been sent. Okay, got it. Now you and wasting little time, uh, we're on final approach. Station keeping was assessed uh, by the Russian flight controllers here. Everything in great shape. The alignment is perfect. And uh, the crew is now in the, the final steps and the final minutes before uh, docking is completed. The uh,